Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice, back at it again, this time with a transfer update. And remember guys, if you are new to this channel, please remember to smash that subscribe button and smash that like button and smash that bell button for your notification and follow the socials. Jaden Sancho to Manchester United has been going on for quite a few days and it's been a whirlwind of just pure speculations from people like um, Fabrizio Romano, Sky Sport, Blend from Germany, also many other credible outlets. It's been a world of turbulence. It's been going up and down between Manchester United and Dortmund. A little tug of war of who's gonna get the best story. Right now, the two clubs are in talks, heavy talks, advanced stage talks, where the transfer has been agreed in terms of personal terms, but just not the transfer fee. And the transfer fee seems to be the problem right now of what the first payment would be to Borussia Dortmund. As you know, Borussia Dortmund won just about 120 million euros for Jadon Sancho, the English superstar, the English winger that we all want that will change everything at Manchester United, which is true. It will change levels or make the biggest statement of them all, sending shivers down the spine to all Premier League clubs. Just imagine Paul Popper, Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial, and Jaden Sancho with Mason Greenwood. Huh, huh, that will send shivers down anyone's spine in the Premier League, let alone in Europe as well. So as I said before, guys, Manchester United are in hot in pursuit of Jaden Sancho. And as we stand right now, of course, because of course Sky Sports are always behind. Sky Sports, I used to respect you. I used to respect everything that used to come out of your sources. It used to be credible to me. Back in the days, I used to argue with my friends, if it's not on Sky Sports News, I don't want to know anything about it, where you got your boot, your scummy, scummy, credible schools, wherever you got that from, whichever dodgy internet you got that from, I don't want to hear it. Because why? Because Sky Sports hasn't confirmed it, so your shit isn't the shit right now. But nowadays, it's, it's, it's other credible sources. Like Fabrizio Romano, and you've got Build at Germany, and you've got many other credible sources, when Sky Sports just constantly just come late. But yeah, Sky Sports are saying that right now, Dortmund are not budging with the valuation of um, Jaden Sancho, and they won't budge, and Manchester United all of a sudden are no longer interested. And uh, he will look for their terms of many speculations coming from German, German outlets as well. So guys, I will tell you right now, I am confident that we will get this player, you know? He will come, he will come, and it will make be the biggest statement, the biggest transfer of this summer. And the reason why he will come, because at the end of the day, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just about meeting an agreement with the first payment. And the first payment, I reckon, Dortmund probably won around 80 million in the first payment. And I know Manchester United want to be as cheap as possible as they can, probably trying to ask and tell them, please, my brother, 70 million is a deal, or probably something like 60 to 65 million, which I'm not surprised. Ed Woodward, you know, he's a guy that tries to, you know, bargain and get a very good deal and just try and add add ons and just kill you and kill you and kill you with negotiation until you give up. You'd be like, fine, fine, just, just take him. I've, I've had enough of you. I've had enough of you, Mr. Woodward. And as you know, Mr. Woodward cannot fail in this because, like I said before, we need this signing, guys. I don't know what you guys think, but we do need this signing. And please let me know if you think that Jaden Sancho is worth 120 million euros, which is probably a bit about 108 million pounds, which is actually ideal. And we all know that Jaden Sancho is worth 100 million. If before coronavirus even now in this current situation i couldn't blame them they sell their players for whatever they want and in respect to mr woodward and manchester united not willing to meet the valuation fee of Jaden sancho i'm not surprised guys because manchester united can just suck the living daylight out every transfer window every transfer um target they every time we're involved in a transfer it just sucks the living daylight it's like sucking on a lemon it's just bitter at the start, you knowing that you're up with signing the plan, and as soon as you just cut that lemon and start sucking it, it's like, mm, mm, Manchester United, ugh. Manchester right now, why are you sucking a bit of lemon? Manchester United 
or trying to negotiate and all of a sudden you hear that they've agreed they've agreed um um a contract agreement with Jaden Sancho and they're, and they're in talks and advanced stage and all of a sudden you just sprinkle that so or sugar I'm not here to discriminate you might like sugar on your lemon and then also it's not taking from bitter to sweet it's just start tasting sweet because you're hearing all the good things all the good news about Jaden Sancho um what's good the, the deal is close and everything all you have to do is at pay 70 million plus 30 million so it's like mm, mm. and as soon as you hear that um Dortmund are not willing to to what's good um budge on their valuation and all of a sudden it starts turning sour and you're like ah <laughs> I knew it, it would take forever for us to sign Jaden Sancho. And with Manchester United not, cannot fail, I don't give a damn and I don't give a toss. I want Manchester United to be stalking Jaden Sancho and Borussia Dortmund's CEO for a, a deal. I want them stalking with no sleep, just like the future of mixtape, no sleep. There isn't gonna be no sleep. I want them watching and pursuing and just pursuing everything about Jaden Sancho, just like the Night's Watch in Game of Thrones. I don't give a damn. I want everyone to be there. Yo, it's your turn to take the watch. But, I, but, but I've only had about, I've been awake for about 24 hours, man. I've only slept for two hours. Man, I don't care. I don't care if you slept for two hours. I want all those guys, the chief negotiators, to be on that wall, watching until Borussia Dortmund, who represents the Knights King, come straight, straight to the gates. Team negotiate, because I don't care. I couldn't give a toss and Ed Woodward has to produce. We don't have that time anymore. We need to take things to the next level and you guys know that, which is true. And one thing that really, 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 really grind my gears, guys, is people telling me, oh, like, I don't like the fact that Manchin and I want to spend 120 million. Like, no, that's too much, that's too much, not too much, not too much. I have my friends telling me that it's too much, 120 million. I'm like, my brother, brother. I didn't know you was a secret millionaire slash blade in here. All this time I've been giving you my problems and telling you how much, how broke I am, how much money I am. You've been a low-key secret millionaire and a billionaire. So I didn't know you all Manchester United. I didn't know that your name was a glazer. I didn't know that. Who gives a toss about how much Manchester United spend? Is it your money? It's not my money. So me, I didn't know that. I didn't know you was a glazer. And while I was suffering, and you was out here listening to me venting about money, you been out here only mentioning United. Your father, your mother, your papa, your everything about you. Can you imagine? Oh, we spend too much. Oh, no, no, I don't want my United to say it's too much, it's too much. Is, is it your money? It's not your money. It is not your money. We are fans. We couldn't give a toss about how much Manchester United, Man United spend. We care about the player. We want the player. Like, Ed, I want that player now. 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 I don't have time for this. Straight away. It's like your, it's like your wife shouting at you. I want that right now. There's no time wasting. But yeah, thank you guys. Anyway, guys. If you think Manchester United are confident in signing Jason Sancho, let us know. Let me know. And if you think he's worth 120 million, let me know. And if you're one of those guys that keeps saying, oh, no, 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 she's spent 120 million, it's too much, it's too much, yeah, like it's your money, let me know what you think of as well. And guys, it's been wonderful. Remember to keep it united and keep it red united and follow the socials and subscribe. Peace out.